This morning, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, a strong ally of Mr. Trump, is wishing him and the First Lady a, quote, speedy recovery. Johnson had his own battle with the virus six months ago and took weeks to recover. Charlie Daggett looks at COVID's impact on world leaders outside the U.S. Three days after Boris Johnson was seen cheering on hospital workers, they were fighting to save his life. Alas, I still Later, he said it was hard to believe that in just a few days, his health had deteriorated to the extent where contingency plans were being drawn up to announce his death. If this virus were a physical assailant, an unexpected and invisible mugger, which I can tell you from personal experience, it is. Like President Trump, Johnson, too, had downplayed the seriousness of the virus. I shook hands with everybody, uh, you'll be pleased to know, and, and I continue to shake hands. They're not alone. Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro came down with it after referring to COVID as the little flu. Then there's Iran's deputy health minister breaking out in a sweat while assuring the country it was under control. Even now, fellow colleagues reportedly say the prime minister is nowhere near the old Boris, that he's suffering from long-term symptoms such as breathlessness and fatigue. And while he has struggled with his weight, the prime minister was 55 when he tested positive with COVID, 19 years younger than President Trump. For CBS This Morning, Charlie Daggett, London.